In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a UAV radar ping without using the UAV. So the first thing you need to do is create a class setup. You can customize any part of the class you want except for the perk 3 slot. In this slot, you will need to put on tune-up. This charges your field upgrade 40% faster than normal. This is extremely important as the field upgrade is crucial in getting the UAV ping. The other specific item you need is the EMP drone as a field upgrade. Now your class is ready. That's pretty much literally it. You just need tune-up and the field upgrade EMP drone, and that will pretty much guarantee you a UAV ping every single game. So how does it work and how do both of these combine to actually get you the UAV ping? So when you use the EMP drone, you actually get the radar ping when you use it, allowing you to see any player on the map that is not using Ghost. I'm not really sure if it's a glitch or like the way that the devs intended it to happen, but it does happen and it does work still. So once I figured this out, I wanted to do some testing to see how much I could get it and how quickly I could get it in the specific game modes TDM and Search and Destroy. So obviously, each game mode is going to be different as time, objectives, and kills count towards your field upgrades. So not doing anything and relying on time and tune-up takes about a minute and 45 seconds to obtain the EMP drone. So getting no kills in a team deathmatch game with tune-up and the EMP drone on, you will get around 6.9 EMP drones a game, or we'll just round that up to 7. So you'll get about 7 EMP drones a game without even doing anything, just running around. However, if you do plan on getting kills, one kill is equal to about 29 seconds of time. So roughly 5 kills will get you in one EMP drone in a team deathmatch game. But the place I feel this trick works the best is in Search and Destroy. Knowing the information about the enemy team's location is crucial in Search and Destroy, and the games are much slower and much longer than team deathmatch games. It's pretty hard to gauge the exact number of EMP drones you can get in a search game though, because the rounds take longer, the games are slower, and you can plant and defuse in the game to earn score towards it. So, a ballpark estimation would be between 5 to 10 EMP drones a game. I know that this estimation gap is kind of wide, but sometimes we have better games and sometimes we have really shitty games. So, depending on how many kills you get per round, you really could get almost one EMP drone around, meaning you get one UAV ping per round, and that is pretty freaking crucial. Another thing is that you can actually run two field upgrades in this game if you didn't know, because as everyone knows, one of the best field upgrades is actually Dead Silence. So you can run the EMP drone and Dead Silence in Search and Destroy to pick and choose between what suits your situation the best. So if you need to rush, you'll probably pick Dead Silence, but if you're held back and you want to just kind of figure out where the team is at, use that EMP drone. I swear it will help you so much. It actually helped me in this game. I figured out where these last two guys were in the beginning of the uh, clip. So it does work and it does help quite a bit. Overall, you're guaranteed at least a few EMP drones every game for not doing a single thing. If you want more tips, tricks, and live streams on Call of Duty, don't forget to subscribe. If you learned something new, leave a like and let me know what it was down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm out.